chapter one. The problem with growing up listening to bedtime stories about monsters, magic and myth is that you don't really question it when a lake summons you. The lake, my lake, is calling to me and it has been for about a week. It's a pull in my chest, a gnawing in my brain and I couldn't tell you how I know it's the lake but I feel it in my bones when I'm awake and it's woken me up several times as though someone has been calling my name. And the worst part of it all is it doesn't weigh me out that much. Maybe my understanding of what is normal is a little warped, but you don't grow up autistic and weird without realising your version of normal is quite different from everyone else's. Mama's stories definitely haven't helped there either. And a sensible person might question why a whole load of water would be almost talking to them, never mind how that could happen. And I get it, it's weird. But somehow I know I have to be there to listen, maybe, to find something i don't know nothing is clear i just know that i have to go and say goodbye to the lake a goodbye is probably all it wants right <laughs>